ahead and introduce the Wise Wolves line of substitute number two, junior Courtney Seidenberger. Substitute number five, senior Jaden Rivers. Substitute number 15, freshman Nathan Blakeney. And substitute number eight, junior Sam Casey. Introducing the starting lineup, number nine, freshman KK Curry. Number 12, freshman Ashley Lippin. Number three, freshman Chad Barrera. Number four, senior Lee Harper. Number one, junior Ayana Acosta. 14, junior Dalia Green. Number 10, sophomore Ariana Flores. Number 18, senior Nina Celestino. Number six, senior Mackenzie Miller. And number seven, senior Alexia Hall. The White Wolves are coached by David Reynolds and Caitlin Furch with their head coach, Kelsey Spindler. And now introducing your Manor Mustangs lineup. Today we have substitute junior, number six, Delilah De Los Santos. <laughs> substitute sophomore, number 11, Mackenzie Schoen. And substitute junior, number 18, Demaya Curtis. <laughs> and now your starting lineup for the Mustangs. Negative the base, third base, freshman number seven, Maya Macias. Catcher, junior, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Nietzsche. At shortstop, senior, number two, Mia Gomez. First base, junior, number eight, Haley Alvarez. Designated player, freshman, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. Center fielder, junior, number nine, Katrina Bosta. Second base, freshman, number five, Jamie Gomez. And right field, freshman, number four, Esmeralda Valdez. Pitcher, senior, number three, Alexis D. And left fielder, junior, number one, Iris Jimenez. The Mustangs are coached by assistants Coach Nava and Coach Davis and head coach Soloff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remove your hats as we play our national anthem. Well, good evening and welcome into tonight's broadcast of Maynard Ladies Softball. Cameron Parker here on the call for you. Thank you for joining us here tonight on a beautiful night here in Wainer, Maynard, excuse me, Texas. A little bit windy out here, gusts about 10 to 20 mile per hour. Batters will be hitting into the wind, but should be an exciting night. Alexis Gee on the mound for your Lady Mustangs as the Weiss Wolves, the visiting team, in their away black and silver jerseys. Well, batting first, I'll give you a rundown of their first three batters that Alexis Gee will face here off. KK Curry, the freshman, Ashley Fapon, the freshman, and Jazz Barrera, the freshman. So three freshmen batting one, two, three for the Weiss Wolves.
So as Gee warms up on the mound, the senior pitcher getting starts. She'll be batting eighth in tonight's lineup. And I'll give you a quick rundown of their lineup batting off Mia Macias, the freshman. And she's followed by, followed by Marlene rodriguez Meche. In the second spot, Mia Gomez batting third. Haley Alvarez batting cleanup. Destiny Ruffin in the five hole. Katrina Bosta at the sixth spot. Jamie Gomez batting seventh. Esmeralda Valdez batting eighth, or excuse me, batting seventh. Alexis Gee batting eighth, and then Iris Jimenez in the nine-hole spot here tonight for the Mustangs. Coach Soloff, of course, the head coach, and he's joined by Coach Nava and Coach Davis as the assistant coach for the Lady Mustangs. So number nine, four. First up for the Weiss Wolves, number nine, freshman K.K. Curry. K.K. Curry digs into the batter's box. And the first pitch to Curry is fouled off to her left. And that will get things started here tonight. KK Curry, a left-handed batter. As Key will winds up and deliver the 0-1 pitch just outside for ball one. And the count even up at one in one. One one pitch just a bit outside, and that'll fall in for ball number two. So two one count for KK Curry. As the freshman makes contact, but fouls this one off behind her to her left, so the count evens up at two apiece for Alexis Key. Wind not as fierce as it was about 30 minutes ago, still blowing directly into the batter's box. So that will help the pitchers here, adding a little extra speed. 2-2 two -two pitch swung on, and Guy Faust is one off just behind her. So Curry stays alive. In this at bat now two apiece here, the fifth pitch. As she sets into the batter's box for the sixth pitch from Alexis Guy. And Gee, 2-2 two -two pitch just on the upper outside corner. Thought that was a great pitch, but umpire says that will be a ball. So 3-2 count now. As K.K. Curry, the freshman for Weiss, accepts the payoff pitch and watches this one fall in for a strikeout. And Alexis Gee gets things off tonight with a strikeout. K.K. Curry caught looking. And so now for the Weiss Wolves, Ashley Vipond, the freshman. And Gee off that strikeout. This first pitch hot, fouled up high into the air. Gee racing over for it in a collision between her and the catcher. No communication between Gee and junior catcher Marlene Rodriguez Meche. So, could have been out number two. Instead, will just be strike number one. The yeah, one pitch now, Vibon watches that one for ball number one.
One away here in the top of the first inning for Maynard. This 1-1 pitch fired down into the left field for a single. And the first hit of the night for the Weiss Wolves. And they now have a runner on first base as freshman number three, Jazz Barrera, comes in batting third. So the first pitch is hit deep into center field. Center field will coming over and will make the grab for out number two. Katrina Bosta in center field. So now Harper into the batter's box for Weiss. Showing butt, makes contact. This is in play. The throw over the first base just a bit high. Vipon running over the third. Now she's going to come home. The throw will not be in time. And a triple off the bunt from Harper. And Weiss will score their first runs of the night. So Ayana Costa now at bat for Wise after the Wolves able to get a run on in this top of the first inning. Harper over at third after the error. And now that pitch will make contact with the Costa and she will take the hit and walk over the first base. That will bring up Dahlia King. With runners now on the corner. Gee has retired one batter so far. As a runner will steal second base. Acosta with the stolen base. And now this one's fouled down the third baseline by Acosta, or excuse me, by King. So 2-0 count to King. This one hammered down for a single. Bring home one runner now to King racing the third base. The throw from the right fielder. The cutoff not in time. And a triple for Dahlia King. As Weiss now increases their lead 3-0 here at the top of the first inning. So now Ariana Flores into the batter's box, the sophomore, as she watches ball one come in from McGee. King over on third base. This 1-0 pitch fouled off just behind her for strike one.
Flores fouls that pitch off behind her. One-two count now for the sophomore. Gee just one out away from getting out of this half inning. Weiss able to put three runs on the board. One-two pitch. Flores swings and strikes out. And that will end the top of the first, but not after the Weiss Wolves able to put on three runs across home plate as we head to the bottom of the first here on the Fipe Live Network. Stepping up for the Mustangs, third base, freshman number seven, Mia Macias. Back here in Maynard, here in the Five Live Network, Weiss leading three to nothing. Here in the bottom of the first inning, Mia Macias at the plate for Maynard. With Ariana Flores pitching, and this first pitch fouled off down the third baseline by Macias. As the third baseman, also a freshman for Maynard, as both teams with two freshman leadoff hitters. Not something you see every day. The 0 1 pitch to Macias hit deep into center field in play. And the center fielder will record the first out for Weiss. So Marlene Rodriguez Meche. Now at the plate, the junior catcher, as Michi watches that one in for strike one. One one pitch, Michi fouls his one again off the third baseline. Just a little bit early on her swing. Now faces a hitter's count though, down 0-2. And this pitch again, fouled off on the left field side. So still an 0-2 count, Mitch is still fighting though. 
down in the hole. The 0 2 pitch from Flores, and Miche stays away for ball number one. One-two pitch, Miche sends this into the stratosphere, but the left fielder, they're making the play for Weiss and records out number two. As she flies out to the left fielder. And now Mia Gomez, number two, into the batter's box, the senior shortstop. As Flores so far for Weiss recording two outs, both fly outs. This one sent down the middle of the field. Shortstop trying to make a play, but Gomez will reach with the infield single. And the first base runner of the night for Maynard here in this bottom first inning. As Haley Alvarez now at the plate for Mainer. Alvarez, the junior first baseman, watches that one come in for ball number one. So Gomez on first. Let's see if she can somehow advance her after a swinging strike two. From Alvarez, the throw from the catcher to the first base, trying to keep Gomez honest. Now the count even at one apiece. The pitch from Flores. And Alvarez stays away, but that's going to be called strike number two. So now Alvarez down in the count, one to two, Gomez on first base, two outs, the one-two pitch inside for ball number two. The count now even at two apiece. Here's the pitch, and that's in for a strikeout. And that will end the first inning as Maynard able to get Mia Gomez on the base but no help otherwise, and we'll head to the second inning with Weiss leading 3 to nothing on the Fight Live Network. Back here in the top of the second inning, Alexis G still on the mound for Maynard after a three-run first inning from Weiss. 
as Nina Celestino at the plate fouls this one up high in the air towards the visitor's dugout. This goes out of the park for strike number one. Gee with two strikeouts in that half inning. This second pitch line into the shortstop. Can't glove it now. Throws over the first base. Just a bit off target. So a single for Celestino. So a leadoff single for Weiss with McKenzie Miller, the senior, now at the plate. This one's popped up high in the air, right back to Gee, who makes the out. And now one away here in this second inning as Alexia Hall at the plate, the ninth batter for Weiss. This pitch just outside for ball number one. Excuse me, it's KK Curry batting, not Alexia Hall. So Curry, the leadoff hitter, their second plate appearance and sends this ball into right field and a running grab is made by the center fielder. Katrina Bosta, a great play. So now two away here in this second inning. As Tippin now takes the first pitch and fouls this one off into the visitor stands. The freshman got on base with a single and later scored after a error. The following at bat as Salasino trying to steal second the throat. Just a bit outside, so she will reach the second base. The second stolen base of the night for Weiss. So now Celestino in scoring position. Vipon at the plate. 1-1 one, one count, two away. Alexis Key now delivers the pitch. Vipon fires this at the second baseman. Makes the grab. Throws over the first in time. And that will end this half inning. As Y still holding on to a 3-0 lead. But a 1-2-3 inning for Alexis Key. As Maynard up to bat in just a few moments.
video issues here right now trying to get that situated it is still 3-0 Weiss two one out for Maynard as Katrina Bosa now facing a full count and fouls is one off again so a 3-2 count here as we work on the video here sorry about that Bosta once again fouling it off, hanging in tough this at bat. So a three two count. This payoff pitch outside in a walk for Katrina Bosta, an incredible at bat. And the second base runner for Maynard as Jamie Gomez base, to the plate. With Esmeralda Valdez on deck. The first pitch to Gomez from Flores. Goes away from the catcher, both to the second base, and she will steal it. And now Maynard has a runner in scoring position for the first time here tonight. As things getting a little dicey for Flores on the mound as that pitch got away from her. 
as Gomez takes the 0-1 pitch outside and up high for ball number two. So two, two a pitch, excuse me, in for a called strike. And this 2-1 pitch inside for a 2-2 count as Flores fights back to even the count. Another 2-2 pitch fouled off. So Gomez once again staying alive in this at-bat 2-2 count. A long half inning for Flores here. The bottom of the second 2-2 pitch in down the middle for strikeout number two. As Gomez caught staring at the sunset on that one and now two away. Or excuse me, yeah, two away <coughs> for Maynard as Esmeralda Valdez to the plate. And that first pitch in for a called strike. And Valdez swings and misses at that second pitch, and now 0-2 count. Weiss trying to escape this inning unscathed. The 0-2 pitch down and away for ball number one. The one two pitch. Valdez hits his high into the right field in for a base hit. And a single now running over the second base to throw in time, but no, they're going to call her safe. So great awareness from Valdez to steal second after the single. Pitcher senior number three, Alexis Gee. And now Maynard has runners on. Second and third here, two away with Alexis Gee, the pitcher on the mound. And that first pitch to Gee outside for ball number one. No one pitch, Gee swings at that one and misses for strike number one. Maynard one swing away from tying this game up, but anything in play can bring home at least one run with Bosta over at third. And the pitch from Flores gets away from her a little bit, so count now two and one for Bosta here. Or should be for Gee. Bosta over at third base. And Gee swings at that one. That's going to even the count up at two apiece. So Flores one pitch away from getting out of this inning. Gee one hit away from causing some damage and getting the Lady Mustangs on the board. Down three to nil currently. 2-2 two -two pitch. Low and away for ball number three. And we have a full count. The second full count in this half inning for Flores. Maynard has had some great at-bats. The full count now pitch high, and that will walk Gee, and we have bases loaded for Maynard with the lead-off hitter, Mia Macias, now at the plate. So Macias... Flyed out to the center fielder in her first at bat. Hits this one in the right field. And the right fielder making an excellent play. And that will end the half inning. 
as Maynard will leave three runners on base, unable to do any damage here. And Wise heads to the bottom of the second, still leading three to nothing here on the Fife Live Network. Top of the third inning here with Weiss at the plate leading three to nothing. A one, two, three inning from Gee the last time around. Looking for more of the same with Jazz Barrera at the plate. She flew out to the center fielder in her last at bat. We have a count. 2 for Barrera. And Gee delivers a 2-0 pitch. Now 3-0 count. For Barrera, a little fist pump as she turns away from the batter's box. And fires this one down the middle of the field for a base hit. So now the Harper at the plate. And Harper fouls this one off for strike one. Harper sends this one in for a base hit. Right fielder trying to make the play. As Barrera rounds the third base. And a double for Barrera, or excuse me, for Harper. As she's now one for one here tonight. The first time around. Advanced on an error from the throw of the first base. Ended up getting a triple out of it scored the pond and now it's a double for her and now a run will score for Weiss King singles up the middle again. Right, 
support our young employees. So one away here. Floor is in the batter's box. So Acosta with the RBI single followed up by Dalia King single. And now Floor is showing bunt and this will be a foul tip. So Flora is actually the catcher making the grab for the out. So that's the second out. A great heads up play. From Marlene Meche. So now two away. Now Celestino at the plate. 0-1 count, two outs. Weiss with runners on first and second, the 0 1 pitch. Celestino stays away for ball one. Key rares back, fires the 1-1 pitch. Celestino fouls this one off to her own dugout. So now 1-2 count as she falls behind. Key just needs one more out to escape this inning. Weiss able to score after a single double and another single. With Ayana Costa getting the RBI. And Celestino watches this one. As the pitch comes in just a bit high for ball number two, and the count evens up at two apiece. So Gee looking to a rest for the pitch. Now fires at Celestinos, hits this one high up in the air, and out of the park for a foul ball as that wind might have helped it Push it out of the park just a little bit. Again, that wind coming in directly into the batter's face. A little left to right action. So now the count still at two and two, though. Runners on first and second for Weiss. The key, the pitch, and Celestino fouls his one off again, this time to her right. So a good at bat for Celestino Gee hanging in tough though on the mound. Trying to escape this inning with just only one run allowed. Can she do it? Celestino fires the third baseman. That will be in play. One run will score. And a double for Weiss. So 5-0 for Weiss now is Mackenzie Miller who popped out to Gee first time around here in the second inning. Swings immediately at that one, just fouled off on the third base line. Salcino on second, Flores, or excuse me, King on third. As Miller fouls her second pitch off in this at bat. So now down in the count, 0 and 2. Gee does have two strikeouts tonight, looking for her third with this pitch. 
but Miller hits it in play. And at least one run will score. Here comes King to the play, and she will also score. And now Wise tacks on two more runs. And a two-out single from Mackenzie Miller. Two RBIs for her. As KK Curry. Back at the plate. 0 for 2 tonight with a strikeout. And her first at bat. And flew out to center field in her second appearance. So Miller on first base. And this pitch a little bit outside. The 1 0 pitch. High runner trying to steal second base. A great throw, but not in time. As Miller able to beat out the throw from Mitchell. Third stolen base tonight for Weiss as Curry ahead in the count 2 0. And now 3 0. Is that one just low and away? And Geese pitch and gets Curry swinging for strike number one. Three one pitch. Curry fouls this one off just behind her to her left shoulder. And now Gee fighting back in this at bat. Three two count now. And a strikeout would be huge for her momentum. So now Curry settles in the payoff pitch. Hits this one hard in the right field. That will be in play for a single runner trying to come around the home play, and she will score. Now Curry going to second base. Gets second. The throw just behind the second baseman. And now an 8-0 lead for Weiss. So Ashley Fiepen at the plate. One for two tonight, singled in her first at bat. Watches that one come in for ball three. Runner trying to steal third base, and she will do so successfully. The third baseman couldn't handle the throw over from Mitche. So now KK Curry at third base for Pond. Looking to add more runs here, 8-0, and makes contact in play. The shortstop, the throw over the first base. Not in time, a great throw. But Vipon able to beat out the throw. And now a 9-0 lead for Weiss. As Jazz Barrera at the plate now, also one for two tonight, singled in her last plate appearance. And this pitch just inside for ball number one. Bueno pitch just high for ball number two. Upon thinking about going to second base, but Meche holds onto the ball and makes a good play, keeping her at first. 
Two outs for Weiss here. Would have been able to score five, excuse me, six runs in this half inning. High ball into left field. And the shortstop making the catch. And that will end this half inning as Maynard will come up to bat. But not after the Weiss Wolves able to tack on six runs and now lead 9-0 as we head to the bottom of the third on the Fight Live Network. So Marlene Miche at the plate for Maynard. 0 for 1 tonight. Making her second plate appearance here in the bottom of the third. With Flores still on the mound for Weiss. Ariana Flores. Solid night so far for Weiss. Two strikeouts. Two hits, though, for Mayner. Meche looking to make it three as she watches ball two come in. Two walks tonight for Mayner, showing their patience at the plate. But Flores gets that one just in on the bottom corner for strike one. Now the 2-1 pitch, Meche fouls that one off for strike number two. Thought maybe the catcher was able to make a nice play, but umpire calls strike number two. So 2-2 two -two count now for Meche here. First batter in this third inning. And she'll take ball three. Good eye. Is right in the meat of the lineup for Mayer. Let's see if they can do some damage in this half inning. Meche checks her swing, and the first base umpire going to call her out. Home plate umpire deferred to the first baseman. And Meche standing over at first base. She can't believe the call. Well, the first base umpire saying her elbow came around just enough for out number one. So Mia Gomez at the plate and fouls off the first pitch. She had an infield single on her first plate appearance. Watches that one come in for ball number one. So ball two now, two one count to Mia Gomez. 
One away. Gomez puts it in play. The shortstop makes the grab. Throws over the first. In time for out number two. So now Haley Alvarez, the third batter in this half inning for Maynard. Struck out in her first plate appearance. That pitch in for strike number one. The first base junior digs back into the batter's box. Makes contact and fouls this one off just behind her for strike number two. So now down in the count here. Flora is trying to end this half inning one, two, three. Be the first time tonight. She's recorded all three outs and she will do that. As Alvarez strikes out for the second time and we head to the fourth inning with Weiss leading nine to nothing here on the Vipe Live Network. So top of the fourth inning here, D. Harper at the plate for Weiss. That first pitch in for a strike from Alexis Gee. Harper two for two tonight with a triple RBI and a double in both her plate appearances. And now the 0-1 pitch showing bunt, but will foul this one off past the first baseline. So now 0-2 count. Tough third inning for Gee looking to start this one off strong though. And a quick out could give Gee some, some confidence as Harper will get this one down just in shallow left field for a single. And now D Harper three for three tonight. So 
So now Ayana Acosta has Harper trying to steal second base and she will steal it successfully. And she'll move in the scoring position, Acosta. One for one tonight. Was hit by the pitch in her first at bat, stole a base, and then had an RBI single in her last plate appearance, bringing home Jazz Barrera. As Harper at second, she was called out earlier. She had a double in her last plate appearance, but was tagged out. And now this one hit into shallow right field. That'll be a base hit. Here comes Harper rounding third base. The throw will not be in time. And Weiss will reach double digits. 10-0 lead here in this fourth inning. And the manager coming out to the home plate umpire. Making a substitution as number 11. So Mackenzie Shape coming in for Esmeralda Valdez. So Dahlia King at the plate showing bunt, pulls back, but now Acosta will steal second base, thinking about third, but will stay at second. King two for two tonight with a two RBI triple in her first plate appearance, single last time up. Now with Harper at second, or excuse me, Acosta at second. As ball two comes in from Key. This one hit high into center field. It is playable. Not able to make the catch as Acosta looking to come home, but stays at third base. So a double for King off the error. And now runners on second and third. As Flores to the plate. And the first pitch in for ball one. And no outs yet for Maynard here as Geese pitch. High up into the air, fouled off by Flores. A 1-1 one, one count. Flores also the opposing, opposing pitcher, excuse me, for Weiss. So Gee's pitch is fouled off once again by Flores out of play for ball two. So now Alexis Key ahead of the count. Runners on second and third for Wise. Zero outs here. And this top of the fourth inning. And the pitch. And swinging and striking out is Flores. The third strikeout for Alexis Key. And now Celestino at the plate. First pitch in for a ball. So let's see, no two for two tonight. A single and a stolen base in her second, or excuse me, in her first plate appearance. And had an RBI double last time up. Two zero pitch. So I'll see no fouls. This one off just behind her. So now a 2-1 count. And 
And this pitch inside and high for ball number three. Gee has yet to walk a runner tonight, I believe. So Celestino shows bump, pulls back this one in low, and I just jinxed her as she will get the first base, and a run is scored, Acosta across. So now Weiss leading 11 to nothing here in this fourth inning. As McKenzie Miller at the plate and watches that one come in for strike number one. And Miller hits this one up high to the air. Second baseman making the grab underneath it and that will be out number two. So now KK Curry at the plate, one for three tonight. Had an RBI single on her last. And this one hit directly the third baseman. Can't make the grab. One run will score. And that had to hurt. Third baseman holding her right hand. That is number seven, Mia Macias. She's being looked at by the third base coach from. Why? So Coach Solov makes his way over the third base. That was a sharp liner. Not enough time to re react. Taking her glove off. Hopefully it's just a, uh, a jammed finger at worst. And Macias able to walk off. And we hope her hand so is okay. As Demaya Curtis will sub in for her. And she'll make her way over the third base replacing the injured Macias. So five mon at the plate. She's two for three tonight. RBI single in her last plate appearance. Has runners on first and second, two outs as Gee's first pitch tour is just up high for ball number one. Five bond hits the window. Center field over the center fielder's hand. One run will score Curry rounding third base. She's in as Fibon will stay at third. So a two run triple for Fibon. So Jazz Barrera at the plate. One for three tonight, single in her second plate appearance. Last two times, Alexis Gee's gotten the better of her. And this one hit up the middle of the field for a single. First base umpire. Moving over. Okay. 
So D. Harper at the plate. She's three for three. Let off in this fourth inning. The so lineup has made its way back to her. So two outs with Barrera on first. And this one fouled off again. So 0-2 count. Alexis keeps smelling blood, trying to get out of this half inning here. As Harper calls time. Now steps back into the batter's box. And here's the 0-2 pitch. High and inside for ball number one. So the one two pitch, throw over the second base, trying to catch the stealing runner. And no one's over there to make the play, so. Barrera advances to second base. So 2-2 two -two count now as Harper's able to battle back from an 0-2 count back to 2-2 two -two now. 2-2 two -two pitch swings this high up foul ball. And this ball fouled off behind her for another foul. As Harper hanging in tough at this at bat. Two two pitch outside for ball number three. As Barrera able to steal another base. And Jazz Barrera advancing to third. But a full count now for Alexis Gee. As she'll deliver the payoff pitch. And that's high and outside. And the first walk of the app the night, excuse me, for Alexis Gee. As now Ayana Acosta at the play. And she is two for two tonight. And we have a pass ball that will score one run and advance Harper to third. So 16 0 score. One-o count, and this one hit high into left field by Costa. The shortstop making coming over, making the grab, and that will end this half inning with Weiss leading 16 to nothing here on the Fight Live Network.
So Destiny Ruffin at the plate. The freshman DH. Oh for one in her first plate appearance here tonight. With Katrina Bosta. On deck. And Jamie Gomez in the hole for Maynard. Flora still on the mound for Weiss. Yeah, she has struck out three, walked two, and given up two hits tonight. And that first pitch called ball. As Ruffin takes 0-1 swings for strike number one. And the count now evened up that one apiece. 1-1 one -one pitch, Ruffin. Puts it in play. Center fielder making the grab, though, for out number one. So Katrina Bosta at the plate. She walked in her first plate appearance in the second inning. Able to steal a base. But was left stranded, unfortunately, over on third. So one away for Weiss. As Bossa steps into the plate. And the first pitch to her, high for ball number one. So the 1 0 pitch to Bossa outside again, so ball number two. As the home plate umpire telling Boss to take off her necklace, it appears. And that will require... Well, it looks like there's a little confusion right now in the home dugout. Goma is sort of walking the plate as if she was going to have to at bat, but... Boss will remain... Taking off her necklace. And now digs in 2 0 count. One away here. Bottom of the fourth. And this one's fouled off down the right field line for strike number one. So the 2-1 pitch to Basta, and she fouls this one off out of play to the right for strike number two, and the count now evened at two apiece here. With one away for your Lady Mustangs. Flores winds up, and this one in play. The second baseman throwing over the first base in time for out number two. So Jamie Gomez coming in the batter's box, her second plate appearance for the freshman, struck out the first time around as Flores delivers the first pitch to Gomez and that's in for strike number one. So two away for Flores here in this fourth inning as Gomez 
stays away as that pitch just inside and low for ball number one. Now delivers the 1-1 one, one pitch. Gomez stays away. And that one's called for ball two. Two one pitch. And that's going to make contact with Gomez on her leg. So a HBP will send her the first base. And brings up Esmeralda Valdez. So Maynard getting a base runner on here in this fourth inning. First time since the second inning. Coming up somewhere, number eleven, Mackenzie Shop. Or excuse me, Mackenzie Shop. Shape in for Esmeralda Valdez. She was substituted as Gomez trying to steal second base, and she will do so successfully. So Shape came in in right field for Valdez, and I believe the third inning. So now her first plate appearance. And 1-1 one, one count for Shoppe. So Gomez in scoring position here on second base. 0-2 count for Shoppe. Flores winds up, delivers, and will strike out Shoppe. And I believe that will end the ball game as the 10 run mercy rule will come into effect here in the fifth inning with Weiss winning 16 to nothing here. We thank you for joining us here in the Fight Live Network. Not the result that you guys wanted, unfortunately. But we thank you for joining us here. Cameron Parker on the call. Hope you have a great night. And for the families and the players to get home safely. Until next time, thank you for joining us here on Fight Live.